Hey guys, this is the Tuninator, and this is Fallout New Vegas Mods of the Week, episode 22, 32. Sorry. So, uh, very quickly, before we get into it, I just want to apologize for my prolonged absence from YouTube. I was doing uh, part two finals, part two... Uh, it's a problem which I'll explain in a sec, and also just due to some laziness on my part, which I apologize for, but I am back, and I am making videos again. I hope to get to a, a schedule, but I don't want to make any promises, so we'll just see what happens. Uh, but anyways... Uh, as I mentioned, I also had a slight problem. I've been trying to make uh, videos for uh, the last week or so, a uh, week or two, but uh, I, when I I don't know exactly what happened. I, I got the Nexus Mod Manager, and I don't think it was related, but it, it's somehow pretty much every mod I had was deleted, so I've been trying to uh, re-download and reinstall everything. So that, that, was, that was fun. I'm still working on that, so my game's probably going to look different. I won't look as good. Uh, because I'm still listening to my mods, I've had to mess with settings, but anyways, just wanted to explain that, if you've noticed anything missing, especially during the Let's Play from, which I'll be starting again, hopefully tomorrow, from previous stuff, uh, shut up while I'm talking, uh, but anyways, uh, that is why files are missing if they are, and, uh, also, I apologize for, uh, the, uh, possible, uh, lack of, or, content in this there's this I still have, like, five or six mods to review, but I was hoping to do one or two more, uh, but unfortunately, uh, one of uh, one of them in particular, the Liberty Loft home, which I wanted to do this week, has been uh, glitching for me. And Nexus, New Vegas Nexus, is down right now, and for downloading files, so I can't get the new one. So this is gonna have a little less content than I hope. But to make up for that, I'll try and uh, add a few more mods in the next week. So, anyways, uh, on to the mods. Um, the first one was sent in uh, by Sergeant CP, and it's the uh, Lonesome Road Duster. And what this is is basically uh, a re a revamped version of the Ulysses Courier Duster. You can get at the end of Lonesome Road. So you can see I'm wearing it right here. There's a whole bunch of different versions for every faction. There is a, I have the NCR version, there's a, I believe, uh, I know there's a Legion version, and there's a Vault 21 version for like the independent people, uh, I think, and uh, there may be, uh, I believe there's a, an American version as well, so there's, you can also get a version without the coat if you don't want the coat, you just want the actual kind of sleeved uh, jacket uh, and pants, so. It's a very uh, nice, you know, visually striking piece of armor. It's got a nice customization uh, potential. Again, you can customize it to whatever faction you want. Uh, and overall, it can go very well with any character. It's an improvement on the base one. If you want to do a bit of, or if you'd like doing role playing with your characters, this is ideally suited because, again, you can customize it to whatever faction you want instead of just having to wear the uh, default Ulysses one. And in general, it's a very nice custom armor that's definitely worth your time. I definitely recommend giving it a look. Also, I apologize uh, for the, all the armors I'm demonstrating. The, uh, the Pip Boy will be on my sleeve because, again, all my mods are gone. Pip Boy Remover is gone. And I can't re download it right now because the Nexus is down. So I apologize for that. Yeah, this is the Lonesome Road Courier Improved Duster. Very cool. If you use that armor at all, definitely give it a look. So the next armor I have to show you was sent in by Oblivion Zealot. And it is the uh, Man with No Name Armor and Weapon Set. Uh, that's, uh, if you're not familiar with what, what exactly that is, it's the. Uh, the main character of the the Western, one of the Sergio, Sergio Leone is the most famous Western film trilogy. I believe it's a, a fistful of dollars for a few dollars more, and then the most famous, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. So uh, they're kind of the classic Westerns, and this is the the armor of the most the, the main character, the man with no name. And it's seen as New Vegas has the whole Western motif, it, it goes amazingly well with it. So you see he's just got the ponchos. Hey. I'm trying to show something here, if you don't mind. The poncho type thing, the jeans, the sleeves, the, the vest under there, you can see it's all there, even the hat. So uh, overall, this is again another fish, hey very nice custom armor, very thematic. Uh, as you guys know, I really like uh, modern armors that fit in well with the existing aesthetic of the game, that you know add to it and complement it can be used in game without breaking immersion, and this is a phenomenal example of that, because again, New Vegas has a really big western feel to it. And this outfit is about as western as they can get, because again, it's uh, Sergio Leone, so that's pretty freaking cool as far as I'm concerned. Let's give it a bit more of a view here. Uh, if you are the uh, gunslinger type, this is definitely an outfit uh, you're going to want to look into. And it also comes with more than just clothes, as I will show you. There are two weapons that it comes with. The first is Quint's Fistful, which is obviously a reference to, you know, Clint Eastwood plays this character, and uh, he's in the, the Fistful of Dollars series, and, but this is a very cool effect that 
Uh, it's like the uh, the mysterious magnum or the mysterious pistol. I forget the name of it exactly. You can get from the uh, the the lonesome drifter guy. They have just the very distinctive uh, wah, 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 showdown music to it, which even if you haven't seen the movies, you have probably seen if you know anything about westerns at all, because it is again very very famous. Put back in first uh, and turn off God mode so we can actually use ammo. I want to show you the firing animation really up close as well as the reloading animation. And again, uh, very sorry about the Pip Boy on the arm, uh, really detracts from the costume, but Pip Boy Remover is not working at the moment, and that's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's look at the other one, which again has the same sound effect. It's called the No Name. And my gun skill is really low, so if you think the damage is crappy, it's most likely because my gun skill is just crap on this character. It's another kind of big hand cannon revolver here. You can really see that the guns are very nice looking. As you can see. Made with care. You don't seem to mind He's back got a quick all. reload clip. If I'd been shot and buried and left for dead somewhere, I don't think I'd go back. Yeah, that's a fair point, Willow. So yeah, that is the uh, man with no name armor uh, and weapons. Very, very cool, very fitting, great for a gunslinger character. And again, definitely worth a look, especially if you're a fan of those movies. So continue with the theme of uh, movie outfits, we have for Willow the outfit of the... Uh, no, I won't trade <laughs> with you. Ah, uh, Willow, you're <laughs> gotcha. so sassy. We have for Willow the main outfit of the character from the movie uh, Sucker Punch, which a lot of you are probably familiar with. And this one is a little ridiculous, and just because that's what the costume is, and it's very ridiculous, and doesn't really fit in with the, uh, the existing aesthetic of the universe. But I figured I'd do it anyways, because it really is quite a well-done piece of, uh, or a uh, costume piece. So, uh, so we should keep the backpack. See, I believe the, the neck chain, uh, the actual baby doll and there's a couple other parts are all uh, part of it this as well so, so she should equip that yep sorry about the lag there but you see uh, it's got or sorry she's got a collar thing on there so. okay sure uh, neck chain we don't want we want this this is part of the cost oh crap I'm sorry I apologize uh, that is part of the costume and I it also comes with a katana because you know of course since it's that movie, they have to have a katana. And uh, yeah, you can just see... Uh... <laughs> Again, while it, it's a little ridiculous and doesn't really fit in with the uh, the game, it, in and of itself, it's a very cool uh, looking piece of armor. It's uh, you know, quite high quality, very well designed. So if you're a fan of that movie, uh, this is definitely a costume you want to look into. It's even got you know the swords and everything. So definitely... Uh, very uh, well designed costume or armor and uh, we can always use more of those so it's worth a look and that was sent in by shark t squad the next armor uh, i have is the one veronica is currently wearing which is the uh, salvaged courier armor and this is just designed to be kind of a, a general armor for you know it's not trying to emulate anything in particular but it's just another one of those pieces which i was talking about which just kind of fits into the wasteland mm, aesthetic and uh, the existing aesthetic of the game while still being new. So uh, I believe there is a coatless version as well, but I chose to give her the coat. Or actually, I think you might even be able to remove the coat. And uh, Ooh, got this is a good for me? female... Is it a dress? Yep, that is the duster and just the armor. So you can... Or... Oops, that's You're my bad. She has combat armor. Stuff, uh, I apologize. But uh, is that everything? Yep, there we go. 
So this is a female only armor at the moment, I believe, although the author is working on a male version. And uh, personally, I prefer the version with the duster, but I just wanted to show you both. I think the duster, dusters make everything cooler, uh, as Firefly stuff, has empirically you? proven. But uh, let's put that back over. And she's not equipping it. Okay, Veronica's being Ooh, very finicky right now. <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize. It is very late and I have not gotten enough sleep. That is not the right thing. Salvage courier duster. Take that back. And there we go. Yeah, that gives you a look at the female uh, courier duster, or uh, Lonesome Road courier duster, which is totally my plan. And anyways, here's the, uh, again, the salvage courier armor. So it fits in really well with the setting. It fits in seamlessly, and it's just a really well designed armor in general. So this is definitely one you want to give a look of to, and again, it's female only, so right now there is a male version being worked on, but it will only work with a female character at the moment, so just keep that in mind. And the last uh, mod I have for right now is the, the Jenny Ux Riot Armor, which is also sent by Shark T-Squad, and it's basically just an improvement on the normal uh, Riot Armor, it's you know, kind of a reinterpretation of it, and it really looks quite cool, I believe this is it. Uh, sorry, there's... A whole bunch of different names of right armor, but yep, uh, here it is. So it's kind of a, it's got the same, uh, let me see if we can do free camera here. Yeah, it's got the same uh, chest plate as the, the riot armor, which is also very similar to the NCR Ranger armor, but it's got this, you know, this very cool jacket. The yeah, kind of armored uh, legs here. And you know, it's various ammo pouches, belt straps, things like that, which all combine to make it, you know, look just very. Very mercenary, very professional, but once again, fits in really great within the existing aesthetic of the setting. You know, the kind of just beat down, post-apocalyptic, but also simultaneously western vibe. And it's it's a bit sci-fi, but you know, not too much, and really just fits in very well with the existing game, which is again something I really love to see. There's so many people who make fantastic armors that are just they look great and they they fit right into the game. So you can see someone wearing it, you can wear it yourself, and never even break immersion. Which, considering how atmospheric these games are. I think is a definite plus. And you can see, uh, let's show some firing of the, uh, the gun with this armor. The hat is not part of the riot armor, that is from the Eastwood mod, I just keep it on because it looks pretty awesome. And it's fun to see how you, you can mix and match mods like this and still, uh, you know, look, uh, have a kind of cohesive theme when all the mods fit within the existing universe clothing. And we'll just do a free camera look at, uh, Veronica and Willow as well. And yeah, so that is, uh, unfortunately, all the mods I have for you today. Again, I had hoped to do a couple more, but uh, there has been some uh, problems with uh, invalid files, and since I can't download from the Nexus right now, I wasn't able to fix them. I apologize. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for putting up with me during my uh, lazy spell there. I'm going to try and get right back into making videos, and again, I'm very, very sorry about that. So, uh... Thanks to everyone who's uh, still watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad you're still with me, and uh, hope to have more content in for you in the future. Also, uh, if anyone's sending any of these mods to me and I didn't mention your names, I apologize. Uh, as a result, uh, partially of my, my absence, I have a very long message backlog to work through, which is pretty much par for the course for me, unfortunately. Uh, it's all my, my own fault, and I apologize for that. But uh, so if you were not credited for an armor you sent me, I apologize. Know that I most likely have not seen your message, and uh, I again I respond to every message I get. Uh, if you send me a message, you know that. But uh, I will just need some time to work through them. So again, if I, I missed you, I apologize. See, so yeah, as always, uh, just feel free to or please send in uh, new mods, links, things like that. If there's anything you think I might find interesting, I feature uh, um, the majority of the stuff I feature just comes from pe stuff people have sent me. Or link me to because there's so much great stuff being created for the game that it's very hard for you know one person to keep track of it yourself uh, by themselves. So yeah, send me anything you have and uh, quite possibly uh, get a mention. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is the Tunator, and I'll see you all later.